I can show you this drawer and what it looks like. Inside of this green box, there is a bag. We use one bag per day to collect uh, our daily urine. And every day we take this bag out and sample it. We have the uh, mechanism right here for sampling this uh, urine. We mix it up and pass the sample bag to it. And take a sample of that urine and freeze it. After the urine is uh, sampled, we take the uh, little sample bag and put it in a freezer down here. I can show you one of these uh, samples that was taken just this very morning. It's already quite hard. This is the size of a sample that we bring home from each day's urine. And then the rest of the urine is thrown away in our trash airlock, which I'll show you in a short time. So that's how we handle the waste on Skylab. It's a no-fuss, no-muss operation. The whole system works very well, and we're very pleased with it. We haven't had any spills yet, and uh, we don't anticipate we will. It's very clean and very sanitary, and a system that uh, those who design it can be proud of. Now we'll move on to the trash airlock and uh, show you what happens to our trash. We have, of course, uh, lots of dirty towels and clothes and, and uh, tin cans and, and uh, urine bags and everything we throw out every day. And We don't want to throw them out into space, and so uh, we contain them in a holding tank, which is down below the crew quarters area here. It is actually the uh, used oxygen tank from uh, this rocket stage when it was used to uh, lift men into orbit. This is the bar. It uh, is, is, in fact, an airlock, and into it we can put all of our trash and eject it down into this holding tank. It does not go out into space, but stays right in that holding tank, and I'm sure it's filling up now, but there's a lot of room to... to uh, I'll open this up for you once so you can take a look at it. Now we can take a uh, disposal bag, which is uh, this size right here. Seal it up after it's full. This one is not full. But seal it up and uh, fasten it into the trash airlock. These little tabs which are split so that when we push it down, it will go. Close the lid. And use the ejector handle, which is this. First, of course, we have to uh, vent it to vacuum. And then we use this ejector handle to push the contents down into the trash locker or the big holding tank below. Then we can repressurize this airlock and throw something else into it. Now let's move on into the wardroom area. We have a place for each man to uh, position himself around this central table. Uh, we should probably call it the uh, kitchen and dining room all combined into one. Now kids, don't do that at home because your mother won't like it, but it's real easy to do up here. This uh, area doubles uh, as many things. We, uh, of course, eat here and make our meals. We also use this for a uh, medical clinic and for looking out the window. Our meals come in cans. To the new housewife, that would be a, a good deal. Like this. Some require water to be added, and uh, others come without uh, requiring a, a addition of water at all. We keep uh, a whole week's supply of food in this pantry. We have more in other places to restock it with. We have beverages that come in these kind of plastic folded containers to which we just add water. This is our water charging station. Put the beverage on or any kind of food that requires the addition of water. Press it and fill it up with the required amount. We have the same thing for hot water. We don't have to heat all of our food. We just add hot water to it and cook it. We also have some frozen foods. One frozen item per day per man, approximately. We just set it right on here. Frozen foods come in the freezer, of course, in cans again. We have a refrigerator, just like you have at home, in which to keep foods chilled, primarily drinks, or things like strawberries, for example. 
Here's a can of strawberries I've already mixed up for my meal today. I'll let them set in water a little bit, and there you are. We also keep our medicines in the refrigerator to uh, keep some of them cool. Now, if you're newly married, I guess maybe this is a good vibe for a while, but after a while, eating out of cans is something that I think your husband would appreciate too much. But for the moment, it's okay. Our window. We'd like to spend more time looking out this window than they really get a chance to do. The earth is a very beautiful thing. We pass over it at 275 miles. So take a look out the window and see what the earth looks like from 275 miles, moving at 18,000 miles an hour around the ground. That's four miles a second. Now we're over the water. I believe we're uh, coming up on the uh, Western Pacific uh, around uh, close to San Francisco somewhere. As I said, the earth is very beautiful. The sky is always black. There's always a beautiful blue ring around the horizon. We have a map with which we can tell. We have a map with which we can tell where we are all the time. Just by looking at it, we can see where we are in our orbit. We make one orbit in 93 minutes, just a little over an hour and a half. So you can see we cover a lot of ground and see a lot of territory and see lots of places we'd like to go back to and spend more time. We can cover the whole United States from sea to shining sea in a period of about 10 minutes. Well, let's move on around here. We have several lockers in which we uh, store things. And uh, in this uh, room, we also have an entertainment kit place where we can play some music. It's located right behind here. We have a tape recorder. We all have our personally selected tapes that we can play, much uh, sometimes to the annoyance of our colleagues, but uh, usually not. And we have books. Each man has about four books that he can read. Uh, so far, we haven't had a chance to read any books, but we uh, have them along just in case we have an opportunity. We have some binoculars in here that we can uh, look at things a little more closely out the window with. And uh, a number of other things that uh, we could use if we ever had time. But mostly we use the music. We enjoy the music very much. We just play it like you would in your home. Just in the background. As I was saying before, this is uh, also uh, sort of a medical clinic. We have a number of lockers here which are devoted to medical supplies. Uh, for example, in the upper locker we have all of our drugs, medicines. Same way in the second locker, we have a number of drugs and medicines we need them. And here we have a microbiology kit, a kit to study our blood or our urine, determine what that illness is and what kind of medicine that it might respond to. We have an incubator in which we can incubate the uh, bacteria and let it grow. And we also uh, have uh, various implements uh, to do minor types of first aid. With. For example, we can suture things, suture cuts. We can... Uh, take you over to uh, the men's corner here. We have a number of tools on Skylab which are required, and you've probably noted that uh, we've had good opportunity to use these tools on several occasions. 